sweet, fruity. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have the Glenfiddich, 21 years old, rum finish. Here on my cask, it's a 40% ABV and it's quite pricey. It's roughly 150 euros, dollars, pounds. You choose. Um, this whiskey is matured or finished for four months in rum casks from the Caribbean. Well, 10 years ago, I think, well, 15 years ago, this whiskey was sold as Cuban rum finish. And then the administration of the United States says, we do not trade with Cuba. Don't ship this whiskey into the US. It's illegal, as those <laughs> Havana cigars are. Well, uh, Glenfiddich looked into their marketing box and took out a Caribbean rum finish and said, uh, no, it's not Cuban, it's Caribbean. Where those casks came from, nobody knows. Uh, I suggest <laughs> it's still Cuban. Um, but there are a lot of uh, rum distilleries uh, on the Caribbean, so uh, it might uh, really be from another island. Yeah. Um, in former times, the bottle was quite slim, had some purple violet colors on it, and was very reasonably priced. And in the meantime, several uh, decors came out, uh, uh, an orange one and this darker one and with 40% with 43%. So there came a lot of different variations of this bottle on the market, but all of them in common is the 21 years of maturation and the four month of finishing in rum casks. Prices, as I said, went up a lot. Um, Here we go. There is a small leaflet in it. I'm going to look in that soon. Then a stopper here on top and the bottle. And uh, well, put it back in place and have a look at this. Um, Grand Reserva, Grand Reserva, Grand Reserva, I think is a a word or a wording from the sherry, no, the, the Rioja industry, huh? the sherry industry, I think. Yeah. Glenn Friedrich Grand Reserva has patiently matured and mellowed in American oak cast for 21 years. After achieving a rich smoothness, it is then decanted into hand selected rum cast. As long as there is a mouse on my computer, this whiskey is hand selected. It is then decanted into hand-selected rum casks for a further four months, infusing this unique Glenfiddich with a spicy warmth and indulgent toffee sweetness with hints of tobacco. World most awarded single malt Scotch whiskey. So they, they omit all the gold medals and <laughs> just write out we are first. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they are no longer uh, the most often sold whiskey malt whiskey in the world, single malt whiskey in the world, uh, they lost their position. So here we go. Uh, the bottle uh, uh, had a scratch in the bottom, uh, a crack, and uh, somebody put tape on it, and so it's for me, uh, just to finish things up. Uh, and this remembers me, my a diploma thesis was about uh, crack propagation in aluminum structures, aircraft industry. Yeah. Fruitiness, not too intense. So, here we go. Ah, have a first look at this small booklet. Glenfiddich, 21 years. Since time immemorial, whiskey has been 
The drink of Scotland, Uschke Baha, is Gaelic for water of life. Uschke was then first name given by the ancient Celts before finally being written as whiskey. The rest is history. Rum cask finish. Has patiently matured and mellowed in American oak cask for 21 years. After achieving a rich smoothness, and we have that already, exquisite and rich aromas of fudge and hints of the ripe banana intermingle luxuriously on the nose. White's complex flavors of toffee and spice combine with warm oak and the merest hint of smoke on the palate. Man of vision, William Grant. And here is Brian Kinsman, not, not Klinsman. <laughs> Uh, as the master taste. He is quite young. He is the successor to oh, David. Oh, oh, what was his name? I uh, can't remember. <clears throat> Good health. So here we go. Sweet, fruity, and a lot of vanilla and caramel, camera. Caramel and vanilla, some fudge. Intense. The oakiness is very faint, not really present. Some lemon showing through and there's a old leather chair. Not this one, this is Chinese plastic, uh, but some leather chair, probably this tobacco influence they said. Yeah, and a lightness, probably a little ginger, but very, very few. It's just 40%, and for 40% it's quite intense, yes. It's 21 years in cask, so it acquired quite some taste. Now the rum develops and I'm sorry, I do not like rum. I do not like uh, brandy, I do not like cognac, uh, those weird aromas in it and the sharp and, and also the rum is not mine. Ah, oh, you have to taste rum, ah, oh, it's very good and as whiskey is, no, there's a particular taste in rum I do not like, period. This is as well in this whiskey. And whoever uh, likes whiskey or rum will be very happy to find this rum note in this whiskey, but not me. So there's a, a wonderful taste, this caramel, this vanilla, the sweetness, everything going, tobacco, leather, wonderful complex. And then you, then you sip it and then this rum note develops. Yeah. Okay. It's like, well, the, the Caribbean easy living, uh, going with the fruitiness, the lightness, the rum, mm, yeah. Oh, and then <laughs> Scottish old <laughs> castle ruins take over, saying, well, here we are standing fast for decade, no, for <laughs> millennia, millennia. Uh, and a warm long aftertaste and when the rum aroma fades away then it's really really present yeah hmm. a wonderful piece of work whenever <laughs> you like rum yeah, it's not too intense with the rum. It just gives you this little kick. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. And feel free to share this video with a friend.